so welcome to a new video. It has been over three weeks. I apologize. It has been such a long time since I've recorded a video, but I've been very, very busy. Haven't been able to record or pretty much do anything uh, when it comes to the channel, but we are back and today we are going to be doing a review. Uh, we're going to be unboxing and taste testing the new pink drip flavor, uh, as well as taking a look at the collector's box um, and shaker and everything that comes with the collector's box. So here is the package. Let's go ahead and open this up and finally get into a video, which I have not done in forever, but we got the knife. Let's go ahead and open up the package. Probably shouldn't go towards myself. Hold on. Okay. So I got it. Let's open this up. And there is the collector's box for pink drip. There's no paper around the collector's box, which is kind of weird, but let's go ahead and get rid of the box. And here is the collector's box. So the main design is uh, the pink, of course but there are aspects of yellow in there. The background is almost kind of like a white brick and it really mixes well with the pinks and the yellows. Um, and yeah, so the actual flavor pink drip is supposed to be a pink starburst. Um, and I like pink starburst quite a bit, so hopefully this is gonna be really good. But uh, more stuff on the collector's box. There are a bunch of little design aspects of it. Uh, there's little skulls on there, stars uh, on the side. It says respect the drip, and it says the same on this side. On the back, it says pink drip, G Fuel, all of the little things, and on the front, it just says pink drip and G Fuel as well. And then on the top, it says pink drip and G Fuel. So let's go ahead and open up the collector's box and take a look at the sticker, actually. Let's take a look at the sticker. So, um,. We haven't been getting too many stickers recently, but this one is pretty cool. So the sticker follows the same design language as the collector's box. It has the pink and yellow with the white bricks on there and the skulls and other design things that goes along with pink drip, but a pretty cool sticker. And here is the sh here is the shaker. It's just a clear shaker that just has pink accents. It's got a pink top with a lighter pink stopper and the insert is the same color pink as the top. And yeah, a bit, pretty basic shaker, but it fits well with the theme. And uh, yeah, pretty nice shaker. And I actually really like the clear shakers and I use those the most, so I'll probably use that one quite a bit. One last look at the collector's box. Now let's get into the tub itself. So here is the tub of pink drip. I'll have some B-roll up on the screen to show you everything about the tub. Again, it's that pink and yellow theme with the white bricks as the background. We have paint cans that say pink drip on them. Um, and on the front, it says all the normal stuff, energy, focus, endurance, reaction, 15 calories, 40 servings, uh, sugar-free. And yeah, pretty nice looking tub. The design of just all the pink drip stuff is really nice. Uh, similar to Hype Sauce, it has that pink and yellow theme but uh, the pink is more vibrant than Hype Sauce, and same with the yellow, it's just more vibrant all around. But yeah, really great tub design, really great box design, uh, and yeah, everything looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and open this tub. I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, I think I did it. Not a terrible open. Actually, it's pretty good. Pretty good open, I think. So let's go ahead and take off the protective seal. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. The powder is actually pink, so we don't have a lot of colored powders, but this is one that actually is colored. If I can get the scooper out, it's actually sticking out a little bit. And let me get all of the powder out of the scooper. The scoopers are really packed when you get a new tub. They can have like up to three scoops of G Fuel in there. So once you get a new tub, make sure you pack out all of the G Fuel that is in there. Yeah, there's so much in there. But you can actually see, probably not, but just a little bit that the powder in there is actually pink and the smell doesn't smell like much. 
which most of the powders don't really smell like much and I, a little, I am a little sick and my nose is kind of stopped up so I can't smell very well but well to me it smells just kind of sweet doesn't really smell like anything specific let's go ahead and since this shaker is actually clear we will be using this shaker for ice and water so let's go ahead and fill this up okay so we that got water like everywhere okay so we have the shaker filled up with water and ice let's go ahead and open the shaker up and get one scoop of pink drip i said this in my boysenberry video i don't actually know if i said this but i haven't been taking the water bottle things off recently and i don't really know why so yeah the powder is pink which is really odd um since most powders nowadays are all white yeah it's just interesting sorry if this video is a little scuffed haven't recorded in like three weeks so yeah that's if the video is bad that's that's definitely why um but we have the scoop in the water. We have the scoop in the shaker. There we go. Uh, now let's shake. Okay, so we have this fully shaken up. It's a very 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 light pink almost like a pink lemonade kind of pink lemonade is very pink a very light pink um that's always seems to be the case when it comes to the pink flavors uh they always seem to be very light but this one is very very light that actually smells like a pink starburst is it to you it smells like a pink starburst andrew's trying it you like it I do like it. It's odd, but I like it. Yeah, it's it's a very light flavor. Just like love candy. Not really. It's a little bit. It's got a candy aspect to it, but yeah, it's not terrible. It's just really light. But it does it does taste like a very light pink Starburst. I do think when it comes to the pink Starburst flavor, they got it pretty close. It's not bad at all. It's just got this, like it somehow tastes like, like a taffy almost. Isn't that what Starburst is? It's like a taffy. It kind of tastes like that, which is weird. I don't know how that they actually got that flavor into the, into the drink, but it's very candy-ish, but there's a hint of tartness. It's very light though. The tartness is very, very small. When it comes to flavors like twisted candy and cotton candy, those are flavors that I'd say there is like complete sweetness and that's really all you taste. But this has that tiny bit of tartness that adds a little bit of depth to the flavor, but that also that taffy flavor also adds a bit of depth. So. It's, it's pretty good. I think if it was a lot, if it was m much stronger, it would be better, but it, it's very light. If it was stronger, I think it would be better, but it still is quite good. Okay, that is pretty much it for this review of Pink Drip. Uh, very solid flavor. Uh, it's probably not going to be super high up on my list of flavors, but it is a very solid flavor that I think a lot of people would like, because I think a lot of people like Pink Starbursts. Uh, and it's very light, so um, yeah, I feel like lighter flavors are easier to recommend to people. Um, I personally like a lot stronger flavors, but um, yeah, it is a very light flavor, but if you like that, um, just know this is a flavor that you will probably like, and it is very smooth. Um, the new G Fuel formula is super smooth, and it just... It really shows in this uh, flavor that it's just really, really smooth. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this review of Pink Drip and the Collector's Box. Um, yeah, really solid flavor that I would recommend to you if you like light flavors. Uh, and if you just like Pink Starburst. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. Loving you with those in-game